we're going to be presenting to you here today. So to follow though, this toolkit, we have one of our leaders here today, our heroes, to share with you how important this journey is. So let me tell you a little bit about this amazing leader. He was known as all the world in high school sports. Wow. Graduate from Maryland State College in 67, great musical education. Signed by the New York Jets football team in 66, right? He won, his team won the Super Bowl three, right? With Joe Damon, I remember that. That's quite an accomplishment. He ended his professional career with some pretty neat statistics. He started teaching in 1975. Motivational speaker for Jeff Mansell here in Tampa. Well, this is your inspiration by the Maryland uh, State College on the Hall of Fame in 84. Became a ordained minister in 99. A lifetime Christian leader, inspiring many. Right, Gold Cup right? And today, one of our GPS heroes. So give a hand to Mr. Earl Christie. Get that music. <laughs> first, first give an honor to God, who is the center of my life and the head of my life. It is a joy to be here. I, I got to give credence to uh, Mr. Jeff, I did, uh, Kay, and, and his lovely wife, Debbie. In fact, I got to give it up to you guys, because I'm on the same team with you guys, man. The team of life, and that's loving the Lord and having faith. I know, man. I am so proud to be part of the greatest. And the reason why I say greatest, because it's faith-based. It's about education. It's about us. See, I take it to another level. I mean, I love to win. There's no question. I got a saying. The only thing better than winning is more winning. And I want you to know, okay? And I want you to know, we all in here, and I want you to repeat after me. We're born for greatness. And I mean it, born for greatness. I, I wish I had the time to tell you my story, but I'll just share a little bit. Because I can't believe what I've gone through where I never played football, not in Little League, high school, and go to college and end up playing in the greatest game of Super Bowl three because it made the NFL merge with my teammates and quarterback. I, in fact, I ended up writing a book I never dreamed. <laughs> I was on a farm. My mother was 16 years older than me. My grandmother raised me. I didn't have my parents in the house. But we don't make excuses. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Amen. And I promise you, I know it, I've lived it. And the things I've gone through, but the bottom line, let's repeat this. When I count to three, I was born for greatness. One, two, three. I, I was, was born, born for greatness. greatness. Let's count again. One, two, three. I, I was, was born, born for greatness. greatness. Give yourself some hand, man. All right. Well, you God, I'm telling you, I'm so far up. You have no idea. This is the joy of my life. And my joy comes from the creator that creates all of you. I'm telling you. The Super Bowl is great, traveling around the world, going different places, being with them, but there ain't nothing greater than embracing the person that created all of us. I have so much joy. Super Bowl don't even compare it. I got the rock on, okay? I got the rock. I play professional show basketball, but I had to make choices. Like Mr. Kane said, you make choices. I remember I was hanging out with some guys in D.C. Back in the day, we used to go to those shops you know, eating cheeseburgers, hamburgers, all that, drive through or whatever. And, and, and the guys were out there stealing hubcaps. And I'm working on them. So what I'm trying to tell you, I mean, we had to take out runners. Suppose the guy got caught. That would have been the end of my career right there or whatever. But the bottom line, it's all about making choices. I'm telling you, making decisions. And we all, Come on, we're, we're not perfect. There's only one perfect person. Amen. That was Jesus Christ. So don't, don't be too hard on yourself. And when things get tough, and I always say, have I ever given it my all? Man, I remember back when I was catching the kickoff, punt returning, defensive back, and running back. 
I catch the kickoff, and I take that ball, and I spin it on down to the goal line. Because I'm finishing every time I want to score a touchdown. Now, I'm kind of disappointed because I went 87 yards, and the guy hit my feet. But I broke a couple tackles on the way. <laughs> we want to talk about win. W I N. Okay, come on, help me out, you guys. What did W stand for? Help me out, someone. What do you think it stand That's a good. That's a good. Work ethic. Work ethic. Work. Work ethic. Are you willing to pay the price? It may take me eight hours, but it might only take you four. Are you willing, man? I'm telling you, every time I step out on that field, opportunity. Give me the eye. Come on, tap me out of someone. Integrity. Oh, Ooh, I love it. That's when they're off. That's great. No answer's wrong. But inspiration. I'm inspired. I didn't know that I saw it on your face. I'm inspired by you guys. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, I, I'm so happy. I am so happy to be part of this. Okay, come on. Let's give me the end. Oh yeah! You awesome! <laughs> Never give up! Don't quit! Come on, it ain't easy. Come on, it might knock us down, but we can get up. If I can breathe, I can look up. I can get up. You hear me? And then dreams. I gotta hit this real quick. This is in the book. The D. Come here, help me out real quick. D. D. Help me out. What's what the D stand for? Determination. Contact. Good one. Dedication. Yeah. Dedication. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are you going yet? I'm going to outwork you. Give me the next. Give me the E. What, what's the spelling for me? What's the next letter for dream? Come on, guys. R. Oh, one of the most important things. Respect. And it starts with you. It starts with you. Man, you guys are born for greatness. You got talent. I can't do some of the things you can do. And I'm older than you. I'm 77, going on 27. I still can shoot the rock. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Still, man. Because my strength and everything come from the Creator. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's the way you step out of life, whatever you do. Okay, next letter, help me out. Enthusiasm. I love it. Education. <laughs> what about education? Come on. And I want you to repeat after me what I said. When you cease to learn, you cease to live. One, two, three, repeat it. When you cease to learn, you cease to live. Come on, one more time. When you cease to learn, you cease to live. Get it out yourself. Come on, give it up. Come on, next one, next one. Next one. The sky is limited. I'm telling you guys, the sky is limited. Go to the next one, next one. Next one. M. What's that? Attitude or altitude? Attitude. I got that one. So then what's the next one? M. That's a good one. But never attitude. The mind is the strongest thing in the world. We use it, but yet we can be the weakest. Use that mind. When God created this machine, I call it computer. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to the human body. Just think how we go through. The last one, S, dreams. Come on, I know you all know this one. Man, you all, get that man. Get that man over there. Success. And success. If I want to be a garbage man, a trash man, that's success. Come on. I want to go on the airplane to fly, and the, and the seats are not clean. I want people to clean the plane. We all are on the same team. And just real quick, T-E-A-M, team. And I'll just, I won't go because of time. T-E-A-M, together, everyone achieve more. God bless you. blessed to have Earl on our team here, right? Wow. There's his hero of the day award here. I thank you, man. You guys are the heat rock. I'm 
I'm ready to shoot up, baby. I gotta get my helmet. All right. So now, the bottom of your sheet now, we're going to dive into each of these seven toolkits now that Earl's got us fired up, ready to score a touchdown, right? So the first thing is proactive responsibility, right? PR. So we have to understand that there is a choice. Do we want to be proactive or reactive, right? A weather vane is reactive, right? Just whatever I feel like doing. But a compass is proactive, right? So the first picture is kind of model. Something happens to you. Someone says or does something you don't like. There's no time to think. We go primitive brain and we react, right? So if someone says something you don't like, you say something back, or maybe you, you throw a punch because you really don't like it, right? And what happens? The teacher, the principal, the right leader turns around and sees you punching, who's going to get in trouble? You. you. We go, wait a second.